Hello, um, in this episode I thought I would show you something a little bit more different. I'm not going to show you how to do this, I'm just going to show you how to start off a piece of work that starts off with a circle. So we've done work that starts off with a foundation chain and I thought I would just show you how to get started on a circle. Now there are quite a few different ways of doing this but as I explained in other videos about tension I think what works for me anyway is this method and it's called a magic loop so you take your yarn and what we're going to do is we're going to work some trebles as you can see there into a loop so I start off doing things like this, this way. You take your yarn and your finger and that's all you need and you wrap it round once and then you wrap it round again and you hold this bit down here and this will be your tail bit. You put your hook under both loops and you pull that one through and then you just do one single stitch like that and then holding it you take it off your finger make sure that bit stays going through the loop and now you can do three chains which will be your first treble and that will count as your first treble like that now I'm going to work probably 12 into this loop all together, so that's one. So I'll do a treble, so that's going like that, and then like that. So that's two, three, four. Oops. Eight. Almost there. Nine. Ten. And the last one in there, 12. And I'll just double check how many I did, so I'll just count that again. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well done, I can still count, that's a good sign. So um, I'll just pull that back down onto there and then what you do is you do a single a, a slip stitch into the third chain that you first did to make that as you'll be your equivalent of your first treble there I didn't show you how to do a slip stitch in the other videos but it's literally you pull it through that one and that one so it looks a bit weird. So you, now, if you pull that tail there, you'll see it pulls that nice, nicely together, and you have now done a nice row, and it's nice and even, and you can pull that as tight as you want or as loose as you want. So you can see there, that's just perfect. A lot of patterns suggest that you do you chain a certain amount and then you, you do a slip stitch in the first chain that you did to make your loop which is fine but everybody does everybody crochets at a different tension and 
you might do it too tight and then which means you're you're you, you won't have enough room to work in it and it'll pucker your work up like that or you may find that you it's too loose for you and then you'll just have a big your gap your hole here will be too big so I really like that way of starting so if a pattern does suggest that you um, you do a chain first and then chain into that um, that first and make a loop that way then and you find it's too baggy for you or it's too tight then just try that method this way because it gives you a lovely finish in the middle I think and it's just it's just so simple so give that a go and uh, see if that works for you if you find that it, the other method doesn't work so that's just a little little magic leap demonstration for you there okay all right see you in some other videos bye